Hi, my name is Jason with CPC Closed Captioning, and I'd like to demonstrate a new technology of ours called Auto Timestamp. Now, when you want to close caption a video, the two ingredients that you need are a video file, which I've loaded here, and a transcript. Here I have a plain text transcript. There's no timing information. It's just the text transcript of what is spoken, and I'll import that into our caption software. When you import a plain text transcript, it gives you some options about how the text is broken up. I'm going to go with the defaults. And you'll see what it does is it breaks the text up into caption size chunks that fit on the screen. And there are various FCC regulations about how the captions are laid out, and the software handles all of that for you, which makes it pretty easy. But you'll notice that there's no time code information yet. In the past, to time the captions, you'd have to do something called time stamping. That's where you watch the video play in real time, and a person has to sit there and hit a key on their keyboard when each caption is supposed to come up. And it's nonlinear, so you can go back and make uh, corrections if there's any mistakes, but it's still a time-consuming process. If you have a one-hour video, it takes a person about one hour to time stamp it. Now we have a new technology called auto time stamp. I'll activate it by going to timecode auto timestamp. And what's going to happen is the software is using a special kind of speech recognition. In order to figure out at what part of the video each caption chunk is heard. And it does that very accurately because it already has the text. It doesn't have to guess what text to put. So this doesn't create a transcript for you. It simply figures out the timings for the transcript you already have. It's a very fast process. Even a one-hour video can finish very quickly. And now you'll see here that it has populated all of the time codes for, these, uh, for this caption text. And I can go ahead and click Auto Sync to play them together and uh, check the timing. Well, it is wonderful to see all of you here today. Uh, to be with all of you, uh, I want to make some special acknowledgments. So as you can see, the timing is very precise. And you'll notice there's a lower third on the video here. The captions obscure it. That's no problem. In our software, it's very easy to select some captions and move them around on the screen. That's covered in our other video tutorials. One thing I want to show is some of the captions come up with a red time code. You can see down here like this one. That means Auto Timestamp was not 100% sure about the timing of this caption. But what that allows you to do is to go through and spot check your file. If there's any sections that are in red, you can do a quick manual check to make sure they're okay. And if they're not okay, you can make a quick manual correction. So I'll go ahead and check this spot here. So I want to acknowledge uh, all of them. Uh, first of all, responsible in, in large part. So you can see that actually that caption was fine. I don't have to make a correction. Uh, what this means is that with auto timestamp, instead of spending one hour to timestamp the whole file by hand, you can spend just a couple of minutes to do it automatically and clean up the results, and you'll accomplish your caption timing much faster than ever before. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.